Oh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, my name is James. Thank y'all for tuning in. Oh, I do appreciate it. While you're at it, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Also, my Instagram notifications, or my link to my Instagram is in the description below. If you have a question about this video, I'm more than likely to respond to an Instagram message than a comment on the channel simply because I don't really see those notifications. Long story why I don't, I just don't see them. And so, but I do get my Instagram messages. So if you have a question, you can feel free to hit me up on there and I will respond. Uh, unless you're rude. If you're not, if you're rude, I don't respond. <laughs> but regardless, um, we have an interesting one today, guys. It's going to kick off, like today's video is kind of the beginning of a series. Now, the series isn't going to run like back to back to back to back, but it is going to run, um, it is going to be a series from beginning to end. I'll say that. Um, and basically, you're going to go from nothing to something. It's kind of an evolution. It's going to talk about a bunch of different topics on different videos in regards to this. But I guess what we're talking about, we'll get into the actual meat and potatoes of this, muzzleloader hunting. Now, I am very new to that. I do understand the concept. I understand some basics involved in it. I, I mean, I think so, most of us are, but some of us are just kind of like, but I don't know anything about it. And that's kind of what this series is going to be. I have, um, we'll say I'm taking a class. A friend of mine is teaching me everything there is to know about it, cleaning it, maintaining it, uh, actually in the, in, the, in the field using it, stuff that makes it better. Anyways, we'll get into all that stuff as the videos, as the series continues. But the problem was, it's like, where, where do I start? So basically, there's two states that I'm planning on using this this rifle in. And so there are very specific rules. One of them is a little vague, but the other one has very specific calibers for like muzzle, for mule deer, can be a minimal of this. And then uh, with, with elk, it had to be a minimal of this, maximum of this, whatever. And so there was one caliber that kind of overlapped in both, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So that went with that caliber. There's specific primers you gotta use, specific powder, like it gets into that specific, they get that specific. So in making this choice, I kind of went that direction. What type of muzzle loader I was going to use? Now, now the thing about it is, is some of these muzzle loaders get kind of crazy expensive. Like I would have never thought a couple thousand dollars. It was like fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars on some muzzle loaders, and I thought that was just a little absurd. I, I I just didn't care for that too much. I was like, that's 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 just crazy to me, you know. But so I went with something that's way more affordable, and I am excited about it, man. I'm excited about it, and the, and the goal with this thing is is to teach my. I'm gonna learn myself. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know everything there's to know about it, but I'm gonna learn, and I'm gonna show you guys what I learned and things that um, in the process I figured out, and we can learn together. How about that? How about that? But anyways, so. Without further ado, I ended up doing some research and I found the most, to me, I found was the most affordable muzzle loader out there, which, oh. <laughs> Y'all guys can't see it. Oh. This right here. Oh. CBA Optima V2. Now I went this route and so both New Mexico and Colorado are open sites only. Uh, and so I went with the 50 cal simply because you can use 50 cal mule deer and you can also use it on elk. And so there are some calibers that you can use on mule deer that you can't use on elk. So I was like, these, this caliber overlaps both and fit my needs. And this right here is a, oh, I just think I'm, box. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. All right. This right here is a 50 cal muzzle loader. It's got a stainless steel barrel and the World Tree camo stock. And this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It is very light. It's only like, I believe it's like five pounds, roughly five pounds, which is an extremely light rifle. But this right here is going to be the beginning of a series of basically, we're going to talk cleaning, we're going to talk maintaining, we're going to talk about actual in the use or in the field use as well. And it's going to be just a series of videos. And then eventually, at some point in time, we are going to take this thing <coughs> mule deer hunting and or elk hunting. So we'll see. It's going to depend on what we're going to get. We're going to put in for some seasons for a muzzle loader. But if anything, you can always take it on an over-the-counter tag for elk because it's any legal means. And this is a legal means. You just have to get close. And so Regardless, we'll get into that stuff at a later date. It does; it is threaded, so you can put a a a, um, a, a rail on here, and you can put an optic on there if you want to. I'm not going to do that. It's simply going to be the old-fashioned way. 
open sight. That is it. It does have some fiber optic sights. It has a red one in the front, green one in the back, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I do love this thing. I think it's really cool looking. It is absolutely beautiful. We're going to go over this thing more in depth on each video. On, on um, We're going to go over this thing more in depth in later videos as we go step by step on different things right now we we're just out of the box like it is now we are gonna have to clean the bore uh, i have some equipment coming for this thing to kind of help clean it better and maintain it better which we'll go over all that gear on a later video guys i apologize right now this is kind of just an introduction to what we have planned with muzzle loading because a lot of people talk about muzzle loading but most people don't understand or are afraid to learn. I don't know much about it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I, but I am gonna learn and I'm excited to take what I learned, to put it out here on social media so that we can learn together, guys. I mean, that's just it. It's about teaching each other, learning from each other, appreciating what each other have to bring to the table and what we can show each other and not ridicule each other so much, guys. Life is good, man. Life is fantastic. But regardless, this right here is pretty neat and it's something we have coming for the channel. I'm excited to bring it. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm excited to do some muzzleloader hunting. I'm not gonna lie, it adds to um, the channel as far as another challenge in my life that I feel like Colorado is doing a Colorado hunting in New Mexico and, and um, wherever else we go hunting. I think to me is, is an internal challenge for me that I have put for myself. I want to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to succeed. I want to accomplish some things in my life before I'm gone. I don't know how much longer I have. Who knows? Only one person knows. But regardless, I'm going to give it hell until I'm gone. That's all I'm going to say. And I dare you to challenge yourself. Find something. Challenge yourself. Go do it. Stop saying I'll do it tomorrow. It may not be tomorrow. If it's something as simple as... Your kids say, can we go to the park? And you say, tomorrow. You know, what? You know tomorrow you may not be here tomorrow, guys. But we are here right now. Here now, I am preparing. I'm doing things. I have goals. I'm going to accomplish them. I am I'm determined. And so I'm challenging yourself, guys. Do it. Be determined. Go do it. Stop putting it off to tomorrow. Stop putting off what you can do today to tomorrow. But a lot of times people are like, well, I'll, I'll go West Virginia ham hunting next year. Next year. And, and, and I, get, I get it's a little intimidating because you don't know it, understanding the process. All I started doing is asking people questions. And it was like, it's that easy. Like, I started asking questions. When I started diving into it, I was like, oh, that's it? That's, it's, that's all you got to do? And so, yeah. Challenge yourself, guys. Man. And it, there's, there's this, a great quote that I love. And it says, it's not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. And I think that is the greatest quote ever because you're your biggest hurdle. You're your biggest hurdle. You got this, guys, man. Keep going. Chase your goals. And as far as this channel goes, we're going to start a series in case any of y'all are ever interested in muzzle loading and, like, don't know anything about it. Well, hit that like, hit that subscribe because we're about to learn together. I'm not going to BS you. I don't know much about it, but as I learn, we learn together. I love you guys. Let's do this. Challenge yourself. And go do stuff. I love y'all.